Well, hello, dear dears. I think we left off with uh, my friends, right? Just on the brink of observing a pit. Now, um, this is what it looks like, right? There's Timmons was at the door taking a listen. He doesn't hear anything. If he rolled, he wouldn't hear anything. He doesn't discover any traps. Even if he rolled, he wouldn't discover any traps. So he's going to open a door, and then this is what we see. I think I was really horrible when I did this the mic, but I'm gonna play it like it does in the book. It's a little more sensible, right? And so you guys can read along with me, right? And as you can see, it doesn't seem that bad. Um, it says the room appears to be empty, okay? But what do we see? Um, we see that there's a door on the other end and they're gonna have to transverse to get to it, okay? And of course, walking across it is gonna pose a little bit of a hazard. So, uh, Let's talk about that. Room has well-hidden traps, or pits, I mean, scattered over it. Each time a character steps on one of the, um, on one of the tiles, I guess you might say, uh, there's an equal chance, uh, one to two on a 1d6 of, of opening up and someone falling in. And you'll drop 20 feet to the bottom, and that's doing 2d6 worth of damage. So in this case, it'd be uh, probably Timmons dying. It's, it seems like the theme right here, right? A saving throw versus death race permitted for each potential victim. A success indicates that he or she he leaped to an adjacent square chosen by the referee. However, he or she uh, sees fit, right? Each pit recloses automatically 2d6 rounds after opening, but can be jammed by enterprising adventurers using spikes or some other reasonable method. Pit on the far left contains the skeletal remains of adventurer. He's garbed in leather armor and a backpack armed with a long sword, which is ancient and rotten. However, his right next has a ring of protection. Yeah, I know there's some treasure in there, but uh... so this is what's confusing the way this is written. One to two, each time a character steps on one, there's an equal chance uh, it will be open. But how do you know if they're stepping on one? Unless you made it completely random. And yet the way the thing is looking out, it's such a, I remember this being hard. So what I'm going to do is make them, for every one there is, they have to roll not a one or a two. I think that's how I played it. Is that how I played it? I can't remember how I did it. So the guy has to roll, 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 and he has to make sure he does not roll a one or a two. Wow, it's going to be rough, okay? So, um, yeah, it's going to be tough. So let me let me cut out of here. I'm going to go to actually my tile map. Maybe I can draw this a little bit, make it a little more sensible, okay? Because it's actually a little, a little hard to see what's going on. Let's, let's take a look here. All right, here's my dudes. They're all out here. Ah, right, you know what I could do? I'm going to grab myself a note card. There is uh, approximately, when I looked at this thing, how many traps? Four? Four traps. Oh, this is easy. Got it. All right, grab myself a nice, good old-fashioned note card. I'm gonna tear this bugger in, and uh, yeah, quarters. This will be fun. Let's think of how should I do this? So I can visualize what's happening here. <laughs> this will suck. But hey, you know what? It's D and D. It's all filled with the pain. Let's see, one, two, three, and four. Okay, guys, we gotta start one side and go to the other. And I don't know if we're gonna make it, but we have to go. Well, one or two each one of these things. Okay, let's back these gentlemen up. And I'm just saying it's kind of a random event. So we're going to start here. And we're going all the way to here. And I guess I could turn it over. So at least it look all right. I should draw it so it looks like traps, but I don't feel like doing that. It's too much work. All right. Right. Timmons, he does have boots of levitation. Okay. So when he starts to fall, he's going to activate these things automatically. Because that's what the heroes would do. So let's try him first. He's going to go here, one or two. Six, he's fine. Go here, one or two. He's fine. Go here, one or two. Four, he's fine. Last one, fine. All right, he goes right to the other side. Hey, come on, guys, hurry up. All right. Morgan off. Roll here, one or two. I think a four. That's right. Here, one or two. Oh, good. One or two. Um, 
Well, he's got to do a, a save. What's a save? Towards death ray. Wow, is that what they said? Whoa! <laughs> save versus death ray. So he has to he has to break an eight on a d20. I gotta use this magic r red die here. Twelve. He's fine. So he just goes to adjacent square. So we're just gonna go right here. Cool. He's gonna go onto this one. That guy. This is the way I guess he's supposed to be playing. Ah, that popped too. Ah, oh, but that's good because that's where the magic ring is. Let's see if he doesn't fall in. Well, he has to be Nate. He's fine. Okay, but he's able to witness and see there's a dude down there, and he sees he does have a magic ring on. So that's going to pose. This is the only reason why we're going to be able to get that ring. He jumps back over here. He spikes that, keeps that open. These guys do not have to roll on that last one because it's left open. These other guys don't have to roll on this one because it's open too as well, right? So they only have to roll on this one. One or two. Baldazar, he's fine. He's fine. And he'll see the other two because they're open. Yeah, technically, this is the proper way of doing this. So he'll be fine. All right, Eric, see how bad this happens to you. He's cool. He's cool. He would see the other two and they're open. All right. Going at the speed of plot. Little man's going to levitate his butt on down there and pull that ring off. So ring of protection plus one, and you're immediately giving it to, of all things, Baltazar. Because you don't know what the ring does anyways. He can figure things out. So Baltazar is getting a ring, protection plus one. So that gives him an armor class of, ooh, eight. I'm impressed, right? I'll take it. Okay. Ring, protection, Plus one. Okay. Now, yeah, all my dudes are sharing their own loot. I guess that's how you would normally do it in a party. Probably not. But I was, these guys are all working together for the, the cause. So we're trying to equip these guys for fun stuff. His AC is now eight. That makes him a little, little better. Okay. Well, we're going to get to the other side of this thing. Let's see where we go. We, we may get to the next, we won't get to the next room, but we can get, at least get situated. So from here, right, they're going to go down this hallway, right? And um, that'll be cool. And they're going to come to a door. He's got to listen. Okay, let's do this. And we have no other choice, right? Uh, we, we, I just assume he went through that door. I know that's kind of bold, but... He should have listened, but he wouldn't have heard anything in the U.S. It's hallway. So we're going to take a listen here, though, right? And this is kind of crazy. Let's take a look here. More or less, Timmons, three. He's going to hear something's in there. So Timmons, he uh, doesn't hear anything at all. Nice. Hmm. So they're going to walk into this room. Oh, gosh. This is kind of weird, right? So hmm, I'm not really sure what is going to happen here. But uh, nonetheless, we got to make some decisions where we're going to go, right? So they, they all enter this room. The, the floor in the center, this is kind of weird. doesn't make sense. It says... The room is empty. The center of the 20 times 20 foot section, which I guess is obviously this section where the 25 is, descends 30 feet about two rounds after the room is entered. There's no obvious purpose to this, and the floor returns normal position that the room has been vacant for one hour. Note that the door to the south is open. The bug pairs. Okay, wait. Oh, man, the whole thing? What? 20 by 20 it descends 30 feet in two rounds. Okay, well, that means they're all going to have to do a little bit of a check. All right, that only makes sense. So my boys are going to have to do a check. And how would I do this? This is um kind of be a dex check. That's the only reason why I want to know how to do this. So do they, are they quick enough to get off this thing, or are they going down for a ride? Let's put it that way. But to do this, we're just going to go uh, up to here, right? This makes sense, okay? This is a little stats for checking this thing, okay? 
And so the, the best way to look at this is that um, they have to make their decks. Oh, okay. So 18 for the thief and 18 for the fighter and mage gets 10 and cleric gets nine. So what I'm going to do is one roll for all of them. And that's how that works. So they have to roll. Don't roll below a nine. Everybody's in. Okay, this will be fun. If not, I guess we'll be in trouble, but let's go ahead and do this, right? One roll for the crew. Let's see who gets out. And this is kind of a cheap move of doing this. I rolled a nine. Everybody's able to hop on that thing before it descends. All right. So after the thing descends, they 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 kind of like, okay, they're on the outskirts of this thing now, right? Because that's would be the smart thing to do, okay? Um, and since they're on the outskirts of it, they're probably going to pick a door at this time. Which door they're going to pick? Let's take a look. So they come down here. We're at 25. Where am I? Oh, sorry. Too blown up. I got to move back a little bit. There's 25. Well, they came in that door. So this is odds. Let's do this once again. Odd. We'll make this even. All right. It's all random. We'll see which way they're going to go. Ready? And so um, I'm going to use a D6, my favorite dice, I guess you might say. So here we go. Odds and evens. I am rolling and even. I got to go to the door over here. All right, this ends it for this session. And we'll pick it up with them going down this hallway, seeing where they're going to go. All right. Thanks for listening.